What have we got? A future Mac driver. We do wonder what he'll be doing. Oh. What's your name? Darcy. Darcy. You have no idea what's in store for you, do you, mate? No. <laughs> Air start and diesel, mate. <laughs> if uh, we think the truck looks big, imagine what he does. Yeah, that's it, mate. Yeah. How old is he? Two weeks old. Two weeks. Yours? No, it's my grandson. Oh, OK. That's his mum over there. I thought you might have started late, like I did, no, that's no, all. No, no, no. No, it's a uh, middle one. Proud mum who's getting a break. Yeah, she's getting a break. And... Permission to put Darcy on the video? Great, thank you. <laughs> Thought I'd better check that. <laughs> Good on you, mate. Yeah. Welcome to a future of driving electric. Yeah, you won't be driving. You'll be in this one. You'll be in this one, will he? Yeah. I better get back and have a look and see what I've got behind you. A super liner. And a nice example, too. Is this yours? Yeah. Yeah? Sorry, what's your name, mate? Eh? Dion Wilson. G'day, Dion Kermy. Yeah, good to meet you. You too, mate. I won't shake your hand because yeah, uh, you're otherwise occupied. I'm a bit busy. <laughs> mate, tell me a bit about this truck. Uh, it's the X-Ray Trains Australia truck. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's fleet number 52. Had three years with the RTA fleet, and then it was bought by John Brooker. Uh, he had it for 17 years and sold it to a guy called uh, Nick Clonan, and I bought it off him in 2017. Okay, so uh, six years in your... Your charge, yeah, you yeah, never own them, you just look after them for posterity. That's it, uh, <laughs> and spend a lot of money to every it. nut and bolt. Um, yeah, everything's been done to it. Yeah, hey, that's a beautiful example, it really is. Chassis rails out in the ground and apart. Okay, what in your time? Yep, okay, in the last five years. Yeah. Where are you based? I'm in Tassie. Oh, okay, so you bought this across from Tasmania, yeah. so yep. 87 next, Mac Tasmania. I'll see the number plate. Two of Tassies as well. Okay. So the Series 1 and the value line are also fantastic. We'll get some footage of that as well. Yeah. Oh, well, mate, that's a, that's a fair old trip for you and a, and a few bucks to bring it across uh, here as well. Yeah, we did the Mac Master in Tassie and decided we'd come to this one. So Okay. Oh, I guess Western, Western Australia's list. next on your list, uh, isn't well, it? If we could have got a load, we would have went. But yeah. I'll spend a bit of time with this little bloke. Yeah, fair enough too. <laughs> and uh, is uh, Darcy from Tasmania as well? Well, his mum is. Right. His mum and dad are. They, they live in... Uh, rather gleam these days. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. it's a nice part of the world. Yeah. It gives you a chance to come to the mainland. Yeah. An excuse, rather. Had a quick, quick trip a couple of weeks ago to see him. And yeah. So this right. is a working truck? Oh, I use it a bit for work. Yep. I've got a Brentwood triaxle that we cut our excavators around on. Okay. I'm a builder, that's what we do for a living, but I'm a mad machine enthusiast as well, so this is one of five Max. Okay. And a few old Inders and Dodgers and things like that. Yeah, as well, so. I didn't hear the name Kenworth. Yeah, it's funny that, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> we are at a Mac Muster, people. <laughs> I see a couple of them are dead to show their faces, but they put them in the back yeah. paddock. <laughs> yeah, that's... Yeah, no, I'm... Uh, I love them, but... Yeah, I love them all, but... I'm actually, my second favourite truck here is that Transdar over there. Yeah, it's the a nice. The 40 Transdar. When I was a kid, we used to have a mate that had a... We had a log truck that we used to go to the bush with all the time. And yeah. As a kid, we had little kids. Yeah, yeah. We'd be up to be three of us perched up in the cab and, you know, the bottle of cold tea behind the seat and all that. It was great. Yeah. Oh, oh know, hello. Mate? Enough of being on video, eh? Yeah. <laughs> or or mum, it's star, time mate. to change your nappy. You're not going to be a film star, bud. <laughs> so, I, you know, there's a lot of good looking Macs around, but I reckon this model, Superliner, just yeah. for me. Oh, yeah. This is the best looking of the lot. First Mac Overdrive was an, an 86 Superliner. Once it's much you've done that, I don't think it's a, you don't look back. Stuck in the blood. Yeah. yeah. I had an 88 for a long time. Uh, Green's, the Green Movement bought out the chip mill down at Tribunner and shut it down mm -hmm. in 2011. And I sold that truck and then yeah, a few years later bought this one. So. Well, you can be proud of it, mate. Yeah. It's a, it's a pull. Full stories on the bunk. Who owned it when they had it? I'll, picture of where they looked. Uh, so three of you came across from Tassie? Yeah, got Roscoe, he's actually 79 years old, paints all his own trucks. And that's one of them. Um, and then we've got Brian next door and that's a pretty mint, pretty mint value liner. So a low case, 480,000 k's on it. So. Nice, yeah. yeah. But just been done up too. Fairly so runny. Pretty, yeah, pretty nice. All right. Well, thank you for your time. No worries at Mum, all. Mum, she's very cute. He's very cute. He is very cute.
Aren't you? We might be a bit biased. You're, well, you're allowed to be, but nah, I'm not. I've seen plenty of babies and I'm not biased. Yeah. He's a good looking kid. He's a good looking kid. Thank you for your time. No worries. Appreciate it. Good to talk to you. You too. Yeah, have a good day.